what is up beautiful fellows you may be wondering where i am well i'm on a freaking island this is a tropical island terrain i made in Kodot. basically this terrain is made with world machine which is then imported to Kodot terrain 3d and textured with the terrain 3d i then have placed the plants and other details on the map with proton scatter these are amazing add-ons and tools you can use to create terrain for a Godot game. Now, let's take a look at a cool little montage of this island. I like making bad decisions. I like watching television. I like when my hands go numb. I like getting Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at this project in a more of a technical view. So let me just take away the details for now. And what I'm left with is a Terrain 3D node. This is uh, basically the main node of the Terrain 3D add-on, which adds a Terrain system to Coded 4. Here on the left side of the 3D view, we got a bunch of tools that we're gonna use to modify the terrain, like the race tool, lower, then we got smooth, flatten, so on. Then we also have paint tools, paint uh, texture and spray texture. Here we can select a texture from there and spray some more of this sand here. The next part I have here, is this mesh instance 3d which has a plane mesh on it and on the material here i have a water shader which is this water shader from Godot shaders i went with this one because i think this creates the look i want for the water and here you can of course copy the code and use it for yourself then after those, I have the details and trees layers, which is basically just the plants there. Now I've placed the plants with the proton scatter node. This is another add-on that I'm using. Uh, I think it's actually called just a scatter. So basically it has an area that it places the plants on. We can see the orange part over there. That's the part where it's placing uh, the now the palm trees on that area. And here on the proton scatter node, we got a bunch of these modifiers. And to enable this to work with the terrain 3D, I need this project on terrain 3D modifier, which I can get from the terrain 3D extras folder. Basically, it's a code on here that I will move to the proton scatter script slash modifiers that's over here and this part is uh, uncommented uh, all of this so just uncomment it when you move it here and then you will be able to add a terrain 3d modifier here and the node will then see the itself the terrain collider on there and one workflow I like with the Proton Scatter node is basically having one of these Proton Scatter nodes, then pressing here to show the output in a tree. Now it's already pressed. So here we got the scatter output, which is basically all the uh, tree nodes. And now that I got this on a place where I like it, I can just take this scatter item and move it over to a another node. And now I have it saved there on the scene then i just move this to another place to get more of the trees there this really makes it easy to place a bunch of these uh, environment assets which uh, really would have been quite a pain in the ass to place and place and rotate each one of these plants individually here now itself this terrain that i'm using here 
was a generated on world machine, which is a uh, basically a terrain generator tool that's used by a bunch of AAA games alike. Uh, in here, there's got a bunch of noise generators and also erosion simulation. This is a super interesting tool and I'm not going to go fully deep on how to use. There's a bunch of good tutorials out there, but I can get a hate output to export a hate map of this terrain, preferably as a .exr. And then over on the Terrain 3 d side, I can go over to add-ons, terrain 3D, tools, and their importer scene. In here, I can actually import the hate map from world machine into terrain 3D. I'm gonna press the importer node here. Just make this a little wider. Get my hate map from here and drag it over to this hate file name. Same for a color map, which is basically coloring the terrain. Then I scroll down, import scale. This should be set to something around 100 to 300, depending on how tall you want your terrain to be. 150 is good for me. Then I'll scroll down to run import and click here. Then it will run the import. There we go. Now I got myself terrain here. I can save this terrain going here to storage, clicking the arrow and save. Then save it this as something.res. Then on a new scene, I'm gonna add a terrain 3D node. And here to this storage, I'm gonna drag the terrain.res material I created, and I will have the terrain over here. Well, I think that's enough rambling about the technicalities of the island. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you liked it whatever do all those things next week i'm covering uru this thing school out